Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to do a full landscape retouch in Lightroom. Do, 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 do. Oh. Great. So usually when I'm doing an edit, I'll, I might use Photoshop and Lightroom, but today I'm just going to use Lightroom and show you how powerful the program is when editing landscapes. So let's jump straight in. Now, we're gonna be using this image just here. And essentially what we've got is um, a landscape photograph with a girl standing on a rock just here looking over the ocean. So let's jump in and let's have a look to see what we want to do. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come down here to lens corrections and I'm just going to enable lens corrections like so, which is going to load in the profile that's the 14 to 24 mil Nikon. It's just going to kind of sort out all of those issues there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna come back up to the top and let's sort out the white balance. I'm going to use a cloud up here. And just by selecting that, ooh, it already it's brought in some really nice tones just here and warmed it up a little, which is perfect. Uh, so next thing, if we look at exposure, now down here is a little darker, so I might want to push the exposure up but what happens is we lose all of the detail in the sky. And then if we bring the detail back in the sky, what we're going to do is lose everything at the bottom. So to get around this, what I like to do is use the graduated filter. Okay, so we're gonna select that at the top here, and we're just gonna draw it down from here, like so, the little bit of a fade and put it right on the line of the ocean, like so, on the Great, that looks great. Now, I currently have it set to pink for some reason, so we're gonna take that back down to nothing. And what we're going to do here is reset all these settings by clicking on the title word here. And we're going to bring the exposure down a little bit. We're going to bring the highlights down a little bit, like so. And we're gonna boost the sharpness up just a hair and the clarity too. So you can see the, that this looks really quite fantastic. In fact, we're gonna, we're gonna boost the contrast up substantially like so. Now the issue is here is that we're also taking the girl and, and this little bit of land here. So to get around that, we're going to select brush in the top corner and then down here, we're gonna hit erase. Now what this does, it erases ev the effect that we've just added in that area. So if we make the brush a little smaller and we're literally gonna erase it just over that area there and also we're going to erase it just simply on the girl just there doesn't look like much but it will be important later on now we're going to add a new one a new graduated filter and we're going to this time go up okay it's the same thing but this time we're going to sort out the exposure for the foreground okay and the land section so again set to pink because that's how, how I had it earlier. I'm gonna come out and this for this one, we're going to take the exposure back a little, just a hair, but I do want to lift the highlights, this the shadows this time, just to add a little bit more to it. And I am gonna boost the contrast here also. And that for me is looking really, really great. And I like it a lot. So we'll come out of that. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So now we can do some overall settings. So now I want to really bring those, those shadows up like so. Just going to elevate the whole image, looking fantastic. And we are going to take the highlights and we're going to knock them down just a little bit. Great. Now we're going to take the present, the clarity up, sorry, just a little boost. Now I'm happy with this, but what I really see is the girl is looking out to the ocean and I'd like her to be actually focusing on something. And with this dramatic sky, I think we can add some sun to this. So I'm gonna show you how I like to do this. By using this radial filter up here, I set the color temperature high, so it's like the sun, like so. And the exposure is gonna go up as well and let's get rid of this color down here. Now, and I'm gonna create, so it, she's looking right here, I think. 
So let's just make this like there's the sun is a setting or is somewhere over here that she's looking into. Now I think that exposure is a little high because what we're dealing with is the overall focus to this. So let's just have a look. I quite like what's happening there. I'm going to boost the contrast of it a little bit and maybe it's a little bit too warm. Something like that. But what I don't want is all of these colors to be coming too far onto this. So again, we'll take the brush, it's set to erase, and we'll take the flow down a little bit. And we're just going to paint in over this area because I don't want it to be too warm in these shadowy areas like so. And then we're going to add another one and we're going to make it smaller like so. And we're going to, sorry, feather that all the way in. And we're going to make this one even brighter so that there's some actual focus down here. And we're going to take the contrast for this one all the way down. So it's more like a haze for this one. And then we're going to add one more. So this is essentially where the actual sun is sitting, which I would say is somewhere like this. And now, if we come out of this, we can now see that there's some kind of a focus, but we're not quite there yet. I'm not entirely happy with the image. So we're going to then take a hold of this brush and to help bring some focus. Okay, I'm going to take the exposure down and make sure there's no color temperature changes or anything. Take it down quite dramatically and make sure the flow isn't too high. And then I'm actually going to paint in some darker areas, which essentially is just going to, again, bring in the focus, like so, to the girl looking out to sea. And again, I mean, really now we're starting to bring in this focus. I don't want the shadows to go too dark, though. So that's looking really nice. Okay. So I'm happy with that, but we're not there all the way. I'm going to add some sunbeams now to this. So we're going to take the brush. We're going to boost the exposure on this one. And we're going to make the brush smaller. And literally, we're going to paint out. Uh, let's make this all the way up. We're going to paint lines. Now, don't worry that it's too bright right now. But these are all the lines which would be coming out of the sun. And literally... All we're going to do is add a load of those lines. But we must get them of different thicknesses, okay, so that it can fade just that little bit. Great, this is starting to take shape. And then some really fine ones in there too, just to kind of add this effect, like so. Now, we can actually turn this down a hair because it's too much. And then again, edit, erase, Put the flow nice and high and we're going to just erase all the way around the outside like so so it starts to fade it down just a little bit and i still think i've just got it way too much there it looks fake and essentially what i like to do is just paint it out as much as i kind of feel like it can be painted out we're still keeping that tone and now we're starting to add some effect to this image which is really great now some extra things that I like to do we're going to take the, this uh, the tone curve we're going to add some blues into the dark areas okay by taking a hold of this and literally just dragging this up like so and that's starting to look really nice and then in the reds we're going to lift that in the mid-tones like so. It's looking great. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do just a little bit of split toning. The highlights, I do want to add some yellow to it. So it's going to really warm that up. And I'm going to push the highlights across. I bring the balance this way so, that, so, so there's more shadows than highlights. And in the shadows, we're going to bring some blue back. 
And this now is starting to add some real drama to this piece, which I absolutely love. Now, the one thing I would like more focus here between the girl and this guy. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take, sorry, one of these filters, knock it down with the exposure, and literally we're gonna bring it in from the top, like so, and then we're gonna bring it in from the bottom, like so. I think I've pushed that little tiny bit too much here, and just here. And that's really given that drama into that. And right now, it's not perfect, but I do like this image a lot. So let's look. This is the before, and this is the after. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. It helps a lot. Leave me a comment if you like the image, if you don't like the image, if you think you would do something different. Just tell me. Also, if you'd like a slightly different tutorial, then you can always request that too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name's Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.